Hi, beautiful. Today, we're watching some five minute crafts because they are just full of shit at five minute crafts. And who texted me? Oh, God, girl. No. Anyways, um, five minute crafts, full of shit. We all know it, but it's honestly so fucking entertaining to watch. <laughs> I'm ready to see some awful, weird stuff happen to hair that makes me want to jump out of my skin and yell things at people. So let's watch the videos. Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on, before we make any cuts. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. So I think she has a vacuum because her hair just got sucked into that thing, whatever it is. I'm assuming a vacuum. We may never know. And then she whipped out the, the clippers. So it's looking risky. Is this her real hair? It really does look like it's her real hair. So, okay. Oh. <laughs> they really skipped over that one real quick. Y'all, they snuck that one up on me. She, not good. Can we see that finished result again? Because I am shocked. She loved it. Oh my god, is that her real hair? No. It looks like a wig, I think. Thank god, I was about to have a f panic attack. Like, girl was like, don't cut your hair like that because you're gonna get this line going on. Looks bad. She definitely had a few drinks before doing that. Like, I know it. She was wasted. She's like, woo, let's fuck. Grab the vacuum out of the closet and let's cut this hair into a, the ugliest bob you've ever seen. She accomplished the task, I guess. If we spin it that way, she f did it. And you know what? I'm proud of you, girl. If nobody's ever told you in life that they're proud of you, I am proud of you. I shouldn't be proud of her. Bro, I shouldn't be doing that. That's not nice. I don't know what I should feel during this whole video. Imagine if it actually worked. Should we make a whole trend where people cut their hair with a vacuum? Don't get me started. <laughs> She's got long, luscious hair. It looks like she had a wild night out, girl. She was fucking whipping that hair and twerking that ass. You know, going for the damn thing. And she woke up with a mess on her hair. This is fine. You know, we'll just break out a brush, right? We'll brush it into place. It'll be fine. It shouldn't be too hard. I've seen hair more tangled than this. <laughs> The comb broke. Um, for hair this tangled, I wouldn't recommend a wide tooth comb. I would definitely recommend like a tangle teaser sort of brush with bendy bristles. But you know what? Okay, where, where are we going now with this? What is the next step? The next logical step for me would be to get a new brush or wash my hair and condition it. But you know, it's five minute craft. So like, we don't know what's gonna happen next. <laughs> Right. And that's exactly what I would have done. I would have called up my friend and said, Yo, my hair is so tangled. I literally can't even get through it. My, my comb just broke. And I would have had her come over, specifically somebody with some claws as nails, and been like, you need to comb it with your fingers. Like, that's the only way we can get this out. And they would have came over and they would have done it for me. And then I would have came out of it with perfectly blown out hair. That makes a lot more sense than what I was saying. Like, I'm embarrassed because of like, the approach that I took didn't make any sense compared to that. Honestly, Feminine Crafts, you kind of slayed that one. I should go back to hair school. Her ends are dry, they're brittle. She's gonna do like a hair mask or something. Is that where we're going with this? Like she's gonna put a little oil on her ends, you know, just to give hydration back to that. Easy fix. Again, what the hell, Brad? Huh, you're so stupid. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? The creativity with these videos, I have to give it to them. Who thinks of that? Genius, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, well, um, no. But honestly, not great. There's a lot of easier things you can do. You can definitely use a hair mask. You can definitely put oil on your hair. But you could, I guess, if you really, really wanted to, you can put a face mask on your hair because, I mean, face masks are hydrating ingredients and usually what can go on your skin can go on your hair. So it's not the craziest thing ever. I mean, it would definitely work. I feel like to put a face mask on your hair where you can just do things made for your hair. Um, and also, 
probably hyaluronic acid in face masks, you know, your hair will probably be nice and shiny and beautiful. So actually, Five Minute Crafts kind of slayed with this one, but didn't slay at all at the same time. At least this actually could work. You know, it wasn't like a total scam. Um, anyways, I won't be trying that anytime soon, uh, and probably neither will you, but at least we know now. Was that it? Was that the hack? Hold on a damn minute. She's feeling like her hair's flat. Big problem, I get it. She's like, what the fuck do I do? I don't know, I don't have a lot in my house. She clearly has no hair tools. But she's looking around, she's like, mm, hair tools? Don't got any. What I do definitely have is an empty salt shaker, I guess you would call it. I don't even know what that is. An empty jar. Literally, I've never seen one of those things in my life, but she doesn't have hair tools, but she definitely has this. So what's the logical thing you should do with it? Let's see. Yes, exactly. Makes total sense. We choose a heavy material from around our house. We didn't choose something light like crumbled up paper or any kind of packing material. No, we chose to put glass, breakable glass in our head and then proceeded to wrap the hair around the glass to make one of the ugliest updos I've ever seen. There was never a time where this would be cute. This is just bad. Don't do this because what if, no, there's not even a what if. Why would you ever do this? It doesn't make a lot of sense to me but then again, she did somehow manage to cover up that entire glass thing that is a square and made it look like rounded on her head and completely covered it. And it looks like it's in there. It is sturdy. Like they had a hairstylist on that set working for their life. How do you make a piece of glass stay in somebody's hair like that? A lot of teasing and a lot of hairspray, I guess. That's how they did it. Honestly, 10 out of 10 for effort. Um, zero out of 10 for execution. Just being generous with it. Thank God I had much to say. Ooh. This much will be keeping me lit. Okay, well, we're already in it. That's been like 0 0.01 seconds. And what the fuck? Okay, it's like a clothing hanger of sorts, I guess. And then she has those industrial clamps clamping her hair up to this thing. And she slept like that. Like girl was fully in there. She's like, I'm committed to this look. And she's like, and she wakes up and she's like, <laughs> Her hair's like stuck to this thing. Or she like stood there for five hours while her hair dried. I don't know which one, but both seem uncomfortable. And she woke up and she's like, all right, now it's time to take it out. Let's see what it looks like. It better look good because she just put a lot of work into this. Oh, slay mama. She gave us the full look at the end. That was enough to sell the idea to me. She was like, I was fully there for it, fully vibing with her. I love it. And I'm sure in theory this could work. It's just like, is she walking around with this attached to her head? She's like answering the door for her food. She's like going to get a coffee and she's <laughs> like, I'm just trying to visualize what would happen if you wore this thing on your head all day. She like takes a nap. She's like laying her back's like this because she's trying to lay on this thing. Seems inconvenient, but it does work. Okay, now, see, no. See, no, 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 no. That one was bullshit. I'm mad because there was not even a concept behind that one. Who's wearing their hair like that? And when has that ever been a thing? You know, if you're gonna do like a fun five minute hack that like makes sort of no sense, like at least make there be a concept because that one made me mad. Like now I wanna, I wanna fight somebody. Come on, let's go. Not you. Somebody that doesn't like me, I don't know. It's like, what What even was that at the end? A part of me thought that that was gonna be a cute look. I was sitting here thinking, how am I gonna shit on this look? Because it's kind of coming together and I love bandanas. But then the ending with the tuck, with the hair going out the front with the tuck, no. That's where I draw the line. That's where I end it. That's where I say no more. No can do, baby. No more of that. Don't piss me off. Let's keep watching. Let's see if I get even more pissed off.
banana. See, that one made me a little less pissed off because there it was a concept, you know? It's like, this girl's trying to curl her hair. What's she gonna do? She doesn't have a curling iron. She doesn't have a blow dryer. She doesn't have anything. And she has no access to a store to buy any of it. So she decides, I have a banana, I have a carrot, and we're gonna make do. And that's what I like. A resourceful woman is the kind of woman that I want as a friend. So I appreciate you. But then it's like, what the fuck? You know how heavy that would be on your head? Wearing a banana and a carrot around, you're like, that would fall right out of your head as well. It would immediately just blip, like just drop to the ground. Never mind, put a fucking curl in your hair. We all know you're behind the scenes, curling your damn hair and then putting it around and a carrot and then action. And then they do it. And then she's like, well, it's kind of fucked up. You know, cause some of us want to curl hair with a carrot. I've actually curled hair with a carrot before. Yeah, I am that person who does that stuff. Well, whatever. <laughs>dead end bangs. That's all the rage. The straggly, f stripped down, dead, not styled sh bangs. That is the vibe this season, if you didn't know. If you, have you seen the runway show? Have you seen the vibes? No, then you shouldn't be speaking. Um, No, don't ever do this. Uh, also, can we get the top view? Can we put the head down and see the top? Because I definitely 100% know there is body pins stuck all around there. Like it is not even wearable. <laughs> it's not even remotely wearable. Just get some clip on bangs. They cost like $5. You can just get some clip-on bangs. It's great. Highly recommend it, but this ain't gonna cut it, babes. It actually just aged you about 10 years. Mm -hmm. And it looks like you need a f trim on those bangs. <laughs> oh, what? I thought at first they wanted to make it look like she had some kind of thing growing out of her head. Like the first woman to have a head pregnancy is what I, the vibes I thought we were going for. But no, she just wanted the most flat, lifeless looking braid possible. I never thought that people wanted that, but I don't know everything about people, you know? If this is your vibe, then I guess that's what you should go for. <laughs> that is the worst looking braid I've ever seen in my life. That's all I have to say about that one. What the fuck? Limpy limpsters, like why? Imagine the front view of her hair, looking like one of those girls who just came out of volleyball practice. <laughs> or like lacrosse, actually any girl out of like any kind of sport when their ponytail is just like down. <laughs> Just hanging by one thread on their little scrunchie and their hair is just like all over the place. God, it irks me so much. Please, if you play sports and you're watching, can you just like adjust your ponytail so it just stays in your head? I mean, you do you, but like pains people like me. It actually seems more uncomfortable to have it. So whatever, that's a whole other topic. I don't even know how I got there. Let's move on. Honestly, a slay. That's a good idea. She should have cut more of a U out of the wig instead of like just cutting one strip so it fit her head better. That's a great little hack. Who would have thought I would find anything good in this video? But it's a fucking U part wig. It's a thing that exists. It's not like it's a hack. It's like an actual thing that exists. But they're very easy uh, to put on your head and have it blend with your real hair. I mean, she did a terrible job. The hair she was using was synthetic, so it did not blend. But like, this could work. And this is technically a hack. Five minute hacks, I'll give you that one. <sighs> Call my therapist, tell them I need an urgent session because that wrecked me. Five Minute Crafts, you really know how to hit the spot, that really bad spot that puts me into a rage. Anger. If you want to check out my hair care line or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodohair.com. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.